Did you know that in 2023, the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling electric car in the world? Today, we're unveiling a new competitor that might just claim that top spot. This is the BYD CLU. This is the latest SUV by the Chinese manufacturer BYD. Now, BYD started off initially as a battery manufacturer a little over 30 years ago, but then they decided to build their own dreams and build their own electric vehicles. Now, the BYD CLU was initially introduced in Ch the Chinese market as BYD Song Plus, and they have a petrol version and a plug-in hybrid, but the one you're looking at is obviously fully electric. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take this one for a uh, test drive today as it's still not road legal in Germany. Now, the BYD CLU starts at 40,000 euros and goes up to 44,000 euros depending on the model you choose. Now, there are two variants of this car. We've got the Comfort model and the Design model. The Comfort model comes with a battery of 72 kilowatt hours covering a range of 420 kilometers, whereas the Design model, which is the more advanced model, comes uh, with a battery of 87 kilowatt hours covering around 500 100 kilometers of range. Now, we're taking a look at the front of the car. I mean, honestly, it does look really nice and aerodynamic. They call, they say that it's got a, a dragon face. I don't know if you guys can see it. I, I honestly don't. I think it, it looks more like a, a seal with an attitude. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, looking at the headlights here, the design is really nice. It's neatly connected to the uh, daytime running lights. If you can take a closer look here, I mean, you can see the real attention to details on, on, on the headlights. And um, yeah, I mean, this, uh, the turning lights here are really nice. And um, so we've got a grill here for providing active cooling for the battery. And uh, you know, we've got the 360 degrees uh, camera and some sensors over here. Um, although it says seal here, it's, I emphasize again, this is the seal U, but it does look a bit close to its cousin, the seal. Now, by the way, the U in BYD seal U stands for utility. And as you see here, it's more of a compact SUV with a length of around 470 centimeters. Uh, looking at the design here, I mean, I really love the attention to details and how, you know, everything seems very slick and, 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 and very neat. Um, so it's got 19 inches wheels, uh, really nice chromed and, and, and aerodynamic. And the overall design of the car is also for an SUV, this is really slick. I mean, it's got a drag coefficient of 0.32, I think. Um, the windows here are chromed and we've got an NFC input here for unlocking and, and, and locking the car. Uh, we can go to the back. The tail light is also really pretty. Um, it's got, it, it covers the entire back of the car and it's got those really nice dots. We have a rear view camera here, a couple of uh, proximity sensors. And I think we've got some vents here, or never mind. This is just uh, a static. And you can see the pretty tag here from BYD Tech. Now, if you're looking for an SUV, then probably one of the most important things you'd be looking for is trunk valve volume. And this one, let's uh, pop it up. Uh, this one offers a volume of 500 liters and it can, it can go up to 1,440 liters when you put down the retractable seats. Okay, I wanna put down the, the seats and see how much space are we gonna get. But um, I've been looking into it for a couple of minutes now and I have no clue how to do that. We know it's possible, but not really sure. Yeah, I quit. So in fact, turns out to be way easier than we had expected. It's just like that. Let's do the other ones. Neat. Let's check the sp what space we have available in total now. Yeah, that's, that's really good. And uh, I think we can get rid of this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is removable. So yeah, there you have it, 1,440 liters of trunk space.
Now to charge the LFE batteries, we've got two options. So we've got AC and DC charge. So we've got 11 kilowatts on AC charge and 115 or 140 uh, kilowatts on, on DC depending on the uh, battery model. But BYD claims that the battery on the BYD CLU is very safe. As a matter of fact, they say that you can even pierce it with a nail and nothing is going to happen. Now, while the charging speed on the BYD CLU is not very impressive, this deliberate approach is actually intended to preserve the battery's long-term health and longevity. BYD claims that this can go from 30% to 80% in less than 30 minutes. I really appreciate that they placed a light in here because I cannot tell you how many times I missed where to place the plug or I put it incorrectly. Now, in order to improve its battery management, BYD is actually partnering up with Shell to integrate their Shell Recharge app in future updates in the car itself. For those of you who are not familiar with the Shell Recharge app, it is tailored for EV drivers, offering access to a vast charging network of over 600,000 charging points across Europe. Users can find nearby charging stations, initiate and hold charging sessions, and monitor charge progress in real time. Additionally, the app features a route planner to optimize journeys along the charging network, and it seamlessly integrates with the vehicle system for convenience. Now, obviously, one of the things I care most about in the car are the interior and how it really feels, you know, to be in the car, especially if you're going to be driving it for a long period. You really want to make sure that you feel really comfortable with, you know, with your surroundings. And I honestly can say that this, the build quality on the BYD CLU is, is really good. Uh, I, on, uh, to be honest, I didn't really expect this, but it's, it feels really sturdy. I love the attention to details, and I mean, overall, the design looks, looks really nice. Now, the, the steering wheel does feel okay. Um, I love the fact that they kept a lot of buttons. This is definitely something that we miss in, 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 in new EVs such as Tesla. Um, so we've got also, thankfully, we still have an instrument panel here. Uh, which is kind of large, I think it's 12 inch uh, screen and it, it covers a lot of information like maximum speed, the range, um, some other metrics and everything. And this is, I think this is very important because when I'm driving, I want my eyes to be right here on the road. I don't really want to shift my attention to uh, the panel right here and then, you know, focus again on the road. And for extra security and, and attention for the driver. They actually kept an, an, a heads-up display, which looks really nice. I mean, it's really clear. And this 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 got an infotainment system, and for the for the um, design model, the infotainment is actually 15 inch. So this is pretty huge. And a good thing about it is that it's tiltable. So when you're driving and following a map, so it's more convenient to have the screen laid out like this. We've got this space here, I think it's really deep. I mean, you can put a lot of things in there. Um, you got a couple of cup holders, uh, two charging places here, some vents. Um, storage capacity here is okay also. It's, it's really comfortable. And by the way, these are heated and also uh, cooled and ventilated seats as well. Um, the design here is, is pretty neat. I love the lights and everything, although it's, it doesn't look that premium, but still, I love that they paid attention to this and they kept it because it, it definitely looks good. Um, the instrument panel here is also very nice, a lot of buttons and, and it, it does feel, it, it feels really good. So this car also comes, as you see, with a panoramic roof. Um, so it's really good and it's got, it's got a, a sun shield. So even if in, 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 in sunny days, like for example, if you're driving in Tunisia during summer, it's going to get hot. And so you definitely need to cover up the, 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 the roof. Now, the infotainment system is very responsive, I must say. I mean, changing between different things. Let's go to the map. Well, I'd say this is good. I honestly expected it to be a bit more laggy. You know, it's, it's got Android Auto and uh, Apple Car Play, which is right there. And uh, this also has voice assistant enabled. Um, I think on this model is going to be in German, so let's uh, maybe try it out. Hey BYD. Hey BYD. 
Schließen Sie das Schieberdach. Oh, look at that, it works. Nice. Really neat. And by the way, on this particular model, the leather here that is used is animal friendly, so it's from recyclable material. And I think it's, it's, it's not the case in other BYDs, but on this one, it's, you know, this car is definitely more environmental friendly. This car has got you covered for a long journey where you need to charge your uh, devices. So here you've got two wireless charging pads. And at the bottom here, I don't know if you see it, but you've got two USB-C uh, ports. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Maybe on the back. So let's have a look at the back. Yeah, this is this is certainly comfortable. I mean, the f this seat is 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 retracted a little bit, but still, there's there's enough space. It's it's a lot bigger here. So yeah, I mean, if you're taking your family on a long road trip, this is definitely uh, going to be comfortable. Um. Again, the seats do feel really uh, comfy. And we've got the armrest here with a couple of cup holders, no storage space, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, if you can look here, there's a kind of the, you know, the sides of the, of the, of the seats. This doesn't really look that comfortable. I mean, I prefer if you know, everything is covered. Um, you also have a couple of charging ports, so that's in, in total. This gives us four charging ports and two wireless pads. Uh, there's a small storage space there. I wouldn't call it storage space. Probably just uh, for the trash. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this doesn't go all the way up, so it just opens halfway through. So there's the lever here for opening up the front. So let's go check it out. Do you think there's going to be storage space in there or not? Oh wow, look at that. We're looking right into the guts of the car. But um, yeah, I'm wondering why they kept this uh, open. Could have uh, covered it and used it for storage space. Big shout out for Stan Auto for hosting us during this review. Uh, I believe they are one of the very few exclusive providers of BYDs in Germany. So if you're thinking about getting one, make sure to visit their website. We'll leave a link down in the description. So this was time for electric. Make sure to like, share the video and see you in the next one.